All right. Hell and high water, the scream of countless swarms rises above the thundering of high-powered ballistics. As the army wages total war on the zombies, four desperate survivors make a dash for the Hudson in hopes of escaping the madness. Okay, so change class. Okay, here we go. So, oh, it it previews this here. I don't know. Oh, I was in customize earlier. Okay, so I'm going to try exterminator. Slasher seems like it'd be kind of fun. But I like Exterminator. There's a lot of, like, team buffs. The uh, starting weapons are good. The fact that I can immediately just go straight for the Taiga and just, like, max out the one of the better shotguns in the game and just roll that. Yeah, that sounds really good for me. Uh, let's see. We don't have anything else. I could switch characters for once. Let's... I'll be Angel this time around. Because uh, apparently by playing as different characters, you unlock, like, backstories and stuff. Not exactly. Uh high priority for me but still something fun and we're still on medium difficulty i don't think i'm gonna change it up above two skulls more than that's gonna be kind of tough without friends and also you know i guess i'm not a big fan of losing <laughs> i don't mind losing in games i mean evidenced by my my roguelikes that i like to play and recently hell is other demons which is fantastic but in these games, like, losing means you get set back and then you have to start the whole mission over again. And it's like, eh, I don't mind that with friends or if I'm grinding for EXP or something like that. But if I'm trying to do, like, a, a story series, yeah, that, that actually is not very fun for me. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle or they will be torn off and eaten. We've arrived at the ninth circle of hell. Please gather your belongings. Thanks for the ride, Stevie. So should I just quietly watch you approach your imminent death? Silence suits you best. Have fun with your trains, nutcase. Okay. So I got a Molotov. Do I only get one Molotov? No, I get two. Okay, so I guess I just have less. So I start with a shotgun, which should be kind of fun. And a silenced pistol. I should probably actually level this one up and just kind of main the silenced pistol for a little while. It's not a bad weapon. And yeah, getting it so I always start with a pretty We're swank pistol. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. We're totally exposed out here. Sir? Those warehouses down the ramp on the right. Mm. Playing this game really makes me wish Fortnite's campaign mode had been more fun. I don't know. Fortnite was going to be one of those games that I was going to like well, I guess more or less, as hilarious as it sounds, it was one of those, like, kind of perfect for me games, but didn't end up, didn't end up being at all what I wanted. It became what a lot of other people wanted, though. Okay, so I could get Sporting Carbine. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep rolling with, uh, whatever, especially because that shotgun gets replaced. No, nah, screw it, I'm just gonna roll shotgun. I like shotguns anyway. There's just more fun. Hey, speaking of shotguns, combat shotgun. A gun is a gun. Gun's a gun unless it's a shotgun, then it's a real good gun. I do want to try the uh, scout rifle. Warehouse full of subway trains. Crawling with Zeke. Nobody runs ahead. I'm not entirely sure. Down the screamer. Okay, well the screamer's down. This worked out well for me. I'm gonna just roll combat shotgun and then get the tiger when I can. Oh. Watch for the clown. 
Where did he come from? I don't know. I got splash zoned though. And not in a good way. Ow. Whoops. Ow. Ow. I almost did it. Thanks. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, let's see. I think we did have a we had a med kit back here. I'm just gonna go grab it. I tried hopping out of the way and it uh did not take. Spare med kit. Thank you kindly. Damn it! I like I react by aiming, and I should stop that. I don't know what that man. <laughs> These are some odd spots to be hanging out on. I'm not gonna lie. Right. What else we got here? Ooky spookies to be sure. Anything of that one? Oh. Revolver, secondary. Did we no 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using the uh There's a maintenance tunnel under these trains. More enclosed spaces. Love it. Stay Honestly close. too many blind spots. Kind of prefer enclosed spaces. I know we're supposed to go that way, but what else do we got around here? Trap. We gotta get out. Doesn't really seem like there's a whole lot. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, I think I got it. Thanks. Here, we can climb up. Got it. Let's move, people. I mean, it still managed to get me with the leap, but uh, then it went flying away. I'll take it. Nothing remains. Suffer no Zed. Oh, hey. Don't we have that uh, Days Long Gone coming out? Ow. Whoops. Ow. Okay. That is not a very large... Okay, it's dead. Drop the bull. Want nothing to do with said bull. Thank you very much. Okay. It died. I have taken way more damage this round than I have with any of the other rounds. Owie. Hopefully we'll get some more. Okay. Uh, what was I even saying? Where was my brain? I don't even know. This game is not exactly conducive to remembering what the hell you're talking about. Uh, to be honest, Let's see anything? Any other? No. Looking for an ammo box. Starting to run a little dry. I'm like trying to see if there's any loot, but I don't want to spend like too much time wandering around because it's not one of those games. Grenade launcher as a secondary? Okay. Make a noise. This will work. I'll take a thumper. It only has three shots, but. I mean, man, I'm going to make him count. Possibly. I might not. This might be a dumb idea, but it seems fun. I mean, machine gun. I do also have the uh, combat shotgun. Should probably be using that. Oh, no. He is gone. That seems. They don't need momentum. We gotta back it up first. This will get in their way. That seems really, really risky. Okay, let's deploy some auto turrets. Well, that might have been a bit much. I need to pay attention to what gun is in my hands. Okay, there's a bull down there. I do not appreciate. 
It don't matter. Okay, bull's down. Get to the train controls and start it up. Grab the voltage kit. Uh. I don't really know which direction they're coming from, where they're going, what their plans are. There's the ammo. Another Molotov. I'm just gonna pop it here. Electric grid ready to fry. Yeah, I cannot tell you if that's good placement or not. But uh I mean no noise. Whatever. Somebody get on the train controls. Gonna roll the train back before we punch you through. <laughs> okay. Shit. That's gonna bring in a swarm. Take him out! Pop that down. Do we got anything else? That combat rifle. I don't think I care for. Alright. Oh. That's a bunch. Okay. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna split the party a bit. I'm just gonna hang out right here. If they're all coming from that direction... Then if I'm lucky... I can just grab ammo. Super consistently for this thing. And until they decide to come from a different direction, I'm pretty much untouchable. Because, yeah, they're supposed to pile up, but, uh, with the beauty of explosions... They can't really stop me. Oh. Until they start coming from other directions. At which point... Ow. That I, I sidestepped him. I guess it didn't. Let's get some fire up in that. I don't know if burning that fence is nope. Okay, we good? We good. That actually worked better than I thought it would would. I've still taken a buttload of damage for this, but like, grand scheme of things, could have been much worse. I'm just gonna keep refilling. Oh, I only get one of the oh get that shit. It's that's open. rough. The gate. Let's go. Watch your backs. Okay, is the gate? Gate is open. I'm bailing. Somebody left the sewer grate open. I'm going in. Well, don't mind if I do. Farewell. I am gone. Uh, I know these tunnels. Did some maintenance here in 09. Sewage and rotting zinc. Oh, this is fun. I see a creeper. I see a creeper. I killed a creeper. Everything is good. Yeah, I gotta remember to stop aiming with this shotgun. I don't really need to. Iron sights all the way, man. Oh, and we left Arnetta. Whoopsie. These tunnels empty to the river. We're close. I'm just gonna drop that there. I gotta get the reload speed on these shotguns. Then again, I think the Taiga is clip based as opposed to individual feed base. Is that it? Are we good? I think we are. What are you? Oh, another combat shotgun. Yoink! Gun's a gun, especially when it's identical to the previous gun. Alright, so Bunko. You have taken more damage than I have. I owe you. Maybe there are merits to being a medic in this game. I I think eh, I might go medic when I when I play co-op just because. Got this. Okay, do I heal to Sean? Probably on the next one. I'll try and take less damage. 
We will see. I'm kind of historically bad at taking less damage in this game. Hello. Bullpup rifle. Interesting. Not really what I'm going for. We can get out. I just hear some pretty horrible something or others. Another assault shotgun. I gotta remember to use these. Better hope they're locked in. Down to the floor. And on both sides. We live? He did not. Cool. I realize I don't have a pistol for this sort of thing. Oh. Did it open? It probably opened. Get your ass in here. Adios, you little fuckers. Evac site can't be far. Let's go. Praise God. Oh, that's less friendly. I don't actually know if they're going to be able to get through this. Well, when they when they're actually dead, they get through. Good to know. Okay, to Sean. You've taken some damage. I'm just gonna let them go for a bit. Okay, what is going on? Are they shelling the area? Okay, so we've got claymores in the immediate area. I'm just going to walk nowhere close to them. I think we're safe. I don't know about my AI, but I think I'm safe. Uh, this looks disconcerting. Spotted a creepy bastard. Creeper's gone. Okay, is that the salt shotgun? Yeah. El Pedro moving in. That ain't good. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's just keep our distance for a second. Grab a little bit more ammo. <coughs> Stay out of the gas zone and pull in the tugboat, it looks like. It says prepare defenses. I haven't seen any. I do have a payload rifle and a couple other things. Uh, okay, no, there are there are goodies around here. Fair number, actually. Nothing on this, but we've got a high voltage defense grid. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Ten thousand volts for our Zeke friends. What else do we got? There's a whole warehouse there that probably has no goodies. Noise. See a lot of Molotovs just lying around. Uh, can I climb this? Is there anything actually worthwhile? Doesn't look like it. Still don't have any breaching charges. That's a salt carbine, don't care. So it looks like we're just gonna get the occasional special rolling in, nothing more. Ah, here we go. Yeah, get in their way. yeah I'm just gonna pile it all over next to the safety spot. Or the, the escape spot. Is that it? Is that just gonna be this mission? I guess actually we've been going for 20 minutes, so yeah, this, this mission feels short, but I think that's just me. Okay, well, we've got, like, one more thing, and I think we're good to go. Oh. Looks like there might have been another creeper. Okay. Yeah, so we just have a couple of specials lying around. I'm just going to get this one, because it's close. Electric grid ready to fry. 
And then I don't think we really have much of a choice one way or another. I don't know if that'll actually zap me. I hope it doesn't. You never know. Well, it's not zapping her, so that's probably a good sign. A little bit worried about the zombies going through the water. Okay. Well. I've got a lot of explosives and a lot of fire. I don't see anything else there. Oh, goody. Well, he didn't like that. Oh, good. They just climb up from the sea. That's kind of worse. Well. Let's just hope I've got enough. I believe in me. I should be I should be able to make an ammo run if I need to. I was hoping they'd have to pile up on that fence, but it looks like they're more or less scaling it instantly. I'm just going to repeatedly make little ammo trips here. Whoa. That's a lot on that pile. Okay. I'm going to leave them on that for a second. Refill Molotovs real quick. Sadly, I am the only one they can actually do any of these objectives, which makes it a little harder. Because effectively, I've got a bunch of dumb ducklings just following me around. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. Because, yeah, there's a... I have unlimited ammo here. Kinda. Damn it. I was trying to go around it, but I was getting. S I was getting friendoed. I'm just gonna set those on fire. Grab the winch. Not going great for me. Let's see if I can kill the pile. I like the cooperative zombie climbing. That is actually a really charming visual. I mean, obviously it's kind of horrifying, but... It amuses me greatly. Okay, new horde coming from that direction. I'm almost out of ammo. I gotta remember I've got a grenade launcher in my hand and unlimited ammo. Wish you would actually reload my, uh... My Molotovs, but whatever. God, I love shotguns. There's nothing more satisfying than a a good shotgun in one of these games. Okay, let's get a little bit more. The boat's in. Let's go. Everybody, head over now. Gonna just make sure nobody else comes to say hi. Alright, let's get- oh boy. Yeah, indeed he do. Oh, you know what? I want to use this at least once. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh! Yeah, okay, getting on the boat. That is, that's a big gun. I should use that more often. As a satisfyingly big gun. It's just pissing them off. Like kicking an anthill. North 
to Lake Champlain. Yeah, we should be safe there. Ain't gonna be nothing left here. I'm never getting out of this boat. I really want to play like a zombie game like this someday that's how do I describe it um where you have a campaign mode but maybe it's a little bit op more open worldy but it's like um there's a finite number of zombies in the area and you have to clear them out and like more will come in at like certain points of plot progress and stuff like that uh but the entire point is like it's like somewhere between State of Decay, They Are Billions, and this game. But like, you have just like a bunch of kind of freeform uh, objectives along the way. And you're mostly just... Uh, it's a bunch of like freeform objectives like, get the supply depot, get some more food, make sure you have food coming in. Uh, you know, the militaries come in and they're, they're actually not so great. So kind of deal with them and stuff like that. Check weapon customization. Can I just keep upgrading the Taiga? I can. It's pricey, and it's not actually gaining that many perks. But, uh, freaking, yeah, it's my main gun. Gonna make it my main main boomstick. Uh, but, you know, a bunch of little objectives to knock off, and when you do so, it really does make, like, a, a tangible benefit. And if you don't knock off some of the objectives, like, say, one of your, one of your characters dies... It was actually kind of critical for things. You know, the zombies start moving in again. And so, like, effectively, you're trying to clear the whole map. And the zombies are trying to, you know, obviously get at you and kill you and stuff like that. And, you know, you're putting up some defenses. You know, making sure people are manning towers. Making some kind of ridiculous, like, orcs must die traps. Because, of course, that's fun. And then, you know, more or less the game ends because you've managed to fortify your city and made it largely impregnable. And, you know, maybe there's kind of the implication that, like... You know, maybe they're getting in after all, or like, you know, there's a breach in your defenses you didn't know about and kind of ends in an unsatisfying way because you got a sequel bait, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm just thinking about this because I know uh, World War Z specifically in the book, like half of it is just about them going back through and eliminating, you know, the zombies and like taking back the US. And I've never played a, a zombie survival game like that. It's always escape. And I want kind of the the opposite side where the zombies have been there for a while and now you're trying to like take it back or at least like carve out a safety zone. And most games either barely do that or in a very unsatisfying manner, which is unfortunate for me. Ish. Anyway, this is fun. So that was episode one, New York. Let's abort matchmaking, obviously. I want to take a look at the other ones. I'm assuming it's different characters. Yeah, Jerusalem, Moscow, Tok Tokyo. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. So we finished with the first, uh, the first three missions, first four characters. I'm very curious about what they're going to do with this game. If they're going to keep adding mission packs, I certainly hope they do. Because it'd be kind of neat if each, like, character set had six, nine missions or whatever, telling kind of their story. And maybe, maybe even, yeah, it goes that direction plot-wise. Maybe no base building or anything like that. But eventually, like, all the characters are all kind of in the same general area. Uh, more or less carving out some section of humanity or safety for humanity. Who knows? Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of World War Z. And as always, thanks for watching.